In this video, you're going to learn some things that you really need to know in order to make a smart decision before you spend money on laser hair removal services or devices. It's a multi-billion dollar industry and hundreds of businesses want your business and spend millions of dollars to get you to call them, visit them, or at least click on them. But first, a little history, a little philosophy, a little biology, and then you'll be ready for rocket science. You don't hear much about it these days, but the old school way of killing hair is a technology called electrolysis. It has been around for 135 years. It is, in fact, to this very day the only removal method that the FDA allows to be called permanent hair removal, and it's the only method that is equally effective on all hair colors. Laser epilation was conceived in the 1970s and for the next 20 years was considered experimental. By the late 90s, it began spreading into broad commercial use. Guess what the folks who were heavily invested in the electrolysis industry had to say? Scam. Rip off. Dangerous. Every new idea that comes along gets attacked like this by people who have something to lose if the new idea wins. And if you have spent any time at all on the internet, you've also discovered that a lot of people attack the new ideas simply because they enjoy doing it. Okay. But enough history and philosophy. Let's talk biology. You're watching this video because you're probably tired of tweezing, shaving, or waxing. You've seen the gigantic billboards promoting laser hair removal services, as well as a lot of glamorous websites and slick infomercials selling pretty little gadgets so you can use at home. At first glance, these ads may give you the impression that laser hair removal is a one-stop deal. Each hair on your body has its own particular three-phase growth cycle, and at the end of that cycle, it falls out and begins growing back from the same follicle. This diagram shows the three phases, but the one that matters when it comes to laser treatment is the first one, the antigen phase. It is only during this phase that a hair follicle can be disabled by a laser, even a laser that is used by a big company that spends a lot of money on beautiful advertisements. The antigen phase of a particular hair might only last for a couple of weeks or it might be several months. It depends on a lot of factors. The part of your body, your hair color, skin type, your age, and your genes. Very funny. Genes. You truly are unique and you have your genes to thank. Laser hair removal is a progressively permanent procedure and it is necessary to repeat treatments over a period of several weeks or months in order to catch each hair in the antigen phase of growth, where it can actually be affected by a laser. We all want everything to be quick and easy, but when it comes to permanent hair reduction using high intensity light energy, just be realistic in your expectations and you won't be disappointed. And the younger we are, the more impatient we are, right? Another biological fact. If you're in your late teens and early 20s, your body is still maturing. And one of the most determined parts of your body when it comes to getting established, putting down roots, so to speak, is your hair. Don't be discouraged if you discover that laser hair removal isn't as effective for you as it is for your older friends and family members. You will grow out of it. Okay, I know you've been waiting for the rocket science class, but it really is not that complicated. As a matter of fact, it's simple enough that many people actually buy their own personal laser system. The primary principle behind laser hair removal is selective photothermolysis, or SPTL. You want that in English? Laser light is able to heat dark matter, like the melanin in a hair follicle, without heating the rest of the skin. The heat seals off tiny blood vessels and nerves that supply nourishment and stimulus to the hair follicle, and it loses the ability to sprout a hair. Remember from the biology class that this is possible only during the antigen phase. Yes, some lasers will shave and vaporize exposed hair during any phase of growth, but unless a particular follicle is in the antigen phase, it will continue to produce hair even after laser shaving. And remember from philosophy that new ideas always have critics. They also always have opportunists, people in companies who are afraid that a better informed consumer will be less likely to become a customer. Your right to be well informed is more important than any company's need for another sale. Once you know your options, any money you spend will be spent much more wisely.